healthy butcher on Eglinton. I'm waiting for a really special treat. I got Mama Firushi, the woman behind the Mama Burger. This is the woman who gave birth to Mario Firushi. <laughs> Coming in, she's gonna be buying hams for me. We're gonna be making the Super Sata today. This is the real Calabresi way of making Super Sata. As you can tell, there's a bunch of different ways of making Super Sata. I don't really know what I'm in for today, but I know it's gonna be a lot of fun. And isn't that what all food is all about? Getting together, friends and family, having fun, making food, sharing food, maybe drinking some wine. Anyway, come on for an adventure, and we're gonna make some super sauce. Mama! Hi Dave, how are you today? I'm awesome, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Okay. I need your help today. What do you need help? I need a couple of nice hams. Yeah. Because my friend and I, we will be making homemade sopressata. So I hope you can help me out. The best way, the I, best of the best. I've been waiting for you. I got something. Let me Thanks, go get them. David. I got two beautiful certified organic hams here. I'll take it. Perfect. Okay, so how do we do? Is this okay? That's fine, David. Now I just want to grind and like that. <laughs> just like that? Just like that. You got it. Okay, <laughs> thank you, David. So I got 29, 29 pounds here. That's good? That, that's great. Thank you. Perfect. And I uh, brought you to my friend's house, Carmela Panza. And today we're doing the homemade sobresata, the calabrese style. Anyway, uh, Carmel, it's nice of you to have us over. Yes, Thank yes, you so you much. Yeah, and welcome. David, to take welcome. over. Huh. Carmel, I'm really excited. I've heard the legends of your super So, yes. first of all, let's start off with you telling me what exactly do we have here. Uh, we are here. Black pepper, uh, paprika, sweet, peppercorn, and um, hot, hot pepper. And salt, pure salt, okay. and uh, pepper. We boil it, we cut, we boil, we put in the. And this is homemade. This homemade, is homemade, homemade. Can I smell this? Yes, yes. Like it smells, it smells amazing. Dude. Yeah, they are, they are. And the suprasata is more better. <laughs> is it? Is it traditional to use this in suprasata, or is this? No, no. We come up after, really. Before awesome. this is ingredient wine. Okay. We put some wine too, and the, but after you know, when you come here and they yeah. see something, of one say something, and not, and you want to try. My so husband, the last one, said, You want to try. And we tried this, uh, we fell in love, and that's it. So, this is like your seeker, seeker weapon <laughs> here secret weapon here that no one knows. So, you, you now know <laughs> Carmela's seeker weapon. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so we have 29 pounds of ground pork by pot. Okay. It's certified again, by the way. And it's going to be delicious. Uh, okay. So. You see, it's good already. <laughs> good. Well, that's that's a good yeah, you know, the meat form of approval there. Nice, uh, so, how do we measure this out? Where do, where do we get started? What we measure is definitely the traditional thing. Okay. We put two adults like this. You have to you have to measure with your hands. Okay. We put two of those. I love it. And one like this, a salt, because I can bend down my, my finger I'll now. I'll and uh, we put it here. Yeah. And we put everything in the end, and we have to mix it. Mix very, very good. This is the really thing to do. Because sometimes when the salt, they don't touch the meat well. Sometimes when they come, uh, they come out, um, what do you say, black. Or okay. empty inside, but that's not good. Okay. That's what we do. Great. Now we have okay. to measure, and uh, that's it. So we're gonna measure, and then we're gonna then we're gonna get on to the next step. Okay. Okay. You try. Uh, you, you measure with your hands. Okay. We're gonna and measure. And which which like measure? this, like this. Ring. Okay. Uh, okay. We put in. I put in there. Okay. okay. Not too much. No, 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 no
Less? Less. Less. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. like this. Just okay, when you like come that. to your hand. Yeah, like, like this. Like that. Put yeah. it there. Right there? Uh, uh, yeah. We have to count. Okay, one. Don't forget. One. Yeah. Two. Yes. All right. I can make a nice little pile here. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can, because I have to be a bit spread anyway. Okay, I'm going to be doing a running commentary over top of this video to explain some of the things that are going on. I'm going to be using some scientific terms while talking about it. But by no means am I undercutting these recipes because these recipes are absolutely amazing. And I want to give a huge special thank you to Carmela Panza and Giovanna Fiorucci for bringing us into their home and, ex and sharing this experience with us. Their knowledge and expertise over years of doing this really shines through. Everything from the way they're able to smell meat and tell the quality and whether or not it's going to work for what they want to do, to their ability to be able to weigh product out and be able to de develop uh, how much other ingredients they need without using fancy digital scales. Uh, this is expertise that is it's a dying art and they are so good at it. And so we are really, really grateful for them being able to bring us in uh, and be able to do this under a camera uh, and be able to share with all of us how, how to do this. Okay. Okay. Well, David. It's 11 yeah. o'clock somewhere, right? Yeah. <laughs> Have some. Yeah, yeah. Too much. Make that baby drunk. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Yeah. Okay. The rest of it we now, gotta drink, so that's it. Uh, yeah, that's, that's it. it. Now, David, you gotta mix. Now, I show you what you have to do. So I got my big job. Big yeah. job. Okay. This is important. You have to grab like this. And okay. You got it. Okay. You got it. Yeah. All right. And you put them aside. Small mm -hmm. quantities at a time, or whatever. What are your hands? Is that okay? The small you do, the better it's soft to mix. Okay. Uh, when you do too much sometimes. So it's like making bread here. Yeah. <laughs> Proper mixing is absolutely key. You gotta get absolute complete distribution of all the ingredients, including the, those curing salts. As well, you gotta get that meat to a semi-emulsification. Uh, but one of my favorite parts is coming up. It's where Carmela tells me that the meat is, is mixed properly. You're gonna love this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. This is, this is great exercise, <laughs> um, but how do I know when I've mixed it enough? Like, what is enough? What is enough? I tell them, uh, you have to grab a little piece like this, put in your hands, and put it upside down. Why did this stick like this? It's ready. Oh, it's good. <laughs> wow. It's ready. Damn it. All right, high five. Now we're going to have a sample. Good? Yeah. Perfect. That, uh, that fresh paprika really comes through. It's really good. So her secret ingredient, I said fresh paprika, she takes bell peppers that she grows in her garden and she boils it down and makes a puree out of it. And it's in the most floral, amazing, sweet tasting product. There's no salt in it, nothing. It's just peppers and water and puree. Okay, Carmela, what are we going to do next? Because we can see we've, we've changed up the design here. So, so, talk, so this is our sausage stuffer? Yes, yes. Okay. Now we'll be wait a little bit. Easy. Okay. So these are the casings. These are these are cloth casings or paper casings. Like paper casings. Let's put it. Yeah. Okay. Great. I, I buy all the time this because it's good. You can push whatever you want and then I'm broke. Then yeah, it's great. And they've yeah. got and they're capped off, which is nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You don't have to. That's great. Okay. So there's three types of casings out there. There's cloth casings. There's the real casings, either pork or beef. Uh, generally for a suprasata, you'd use a beef middle. Uh, and then there are these paper casings or, or collagen casings. Uh, what's awesome about these casings is that they're capped off. 
Uh, cloth casings are usually capped off as well. And what's nice about that is you can push really, really hard with the meat and get that meat really stuffed in there tight and don't need to worry about uh, very many air pockets. Oh, wait a little bit. Just like a little bit moist. And now this is always my favorite part when we put the casing on the horn here. Yeah. <laughs> the photo. <laughs> Yeah, we don't want this, to you know fingers. what, you have to stay really tight to your hands. Yeah. And sometimes my hands it's weak. Okay. And that's <laughs> what you see. And that's need, what you see. You, you, you need a strong arm to do that. My hands are tired though from all that mixing. I know, yeah. you're right. But <laughs> I'm tired too. I'm tired too, my hands. No wonder you drink so much wine. This is a, this is a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> poke, poke. Carme. Ready, ready. What a beautiful salami. That is a beautiful salami. Yeah, and now we have to take no, some. you need to take some off. No, you have to okay. like this. I think you have to do doubles. Doubles, yeah. Yeah, because I know it's. Um, yeah, I think. The first. Scissors? The scissors were. Uh, Double, see. Double, okay. Is put a let's see the judge. Close. No, half, half and half. Cosy, half, right? You have to do, yeah, because one time they come. Okay, David, take the strongest you can. Okay. Okay. Now. Okay. Now. Wait. No. No. Wait. Wait. You have to do like this. You have to do like a crisscross, see? The dove. Okay. Got it? In the middle? In the middle, okay. Yeah. Oh, she wants some of the casing to hold it. Ah, yeah, so when yeah. you hang it, I yeah. get When it, you I hang it, it, doesn't come out. Then I come out. Huh? Okay. okay. And that's it. And that's it. Okay, so you, you gotta poke, you gotta poke. Yeah, you have to poke, yeah. Get all the air out. Yes. Okay. Squeeze your hands. I'm scored. <laughs> we should, we should start something, right? Here. Beautiful. Wow. 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 <laughs> Okay, so while Mario and I finish up these 13 Suprasata, let me first share with you Carmela's recipe. These recipes change slightly from family to family and village to village. And they can be adapted. You saw how Carmela adapted it. She likes to add her fresh pepper puree to her recipe. And every family has got their own little secret ingredient. Uh, what I want to talk to you about now is about the curing process. Curing the meat is essentially lowering the water activity level so that the meat is shelf stable and that's done through salt. Problem is that that takes about three months and so you have to protect that meat from the day you make that sausage to, the, to when the water activity is actually lowered and so that's where we use pH or acidity. In this case here Carmela added red wine to the meat to lower the pH of the actual meat mixture to protect the meat until the, the curing process is do was done. Traditionally, we would use a starter culture, and a starter culture is a bacteria, and we would feed that bacteria some type of sugar, um, and that would create lactic acid within the meat itself. It would also give the meat a bit of a sour note to it, um, but that is traditionally what would be used with most industrial supersatas, would be uh, that curing or the greening process of your salami. The other thing that we should talk about is the use of nitrates. Now, as you can tell, that there was a white bag of salt that we used. That was not just sea salt. That was curing salt. It was a mixture of sodium chloride and a nitrate. And so nitrates need to be used with a salami, uh, especially with a ground meat salami that's being made. And this is because there are there's going to be a lot of room for anaerobic bacteria to grow. And so you use a nitrate to protect your meat from anaerobic bacteria. So these are bacteria that flourish without the presence of oxygen. And so 
we have to make sure that we understand all three of those steps. We lowered the pH value, we also added salt, and we added a nitrate, and those are the three steps that we are using uh, for making the salami. Okay, so they're all hanging. They've got space in between them, so they so they don't touch. So they they don't. No, they're not supposed to touch, especially for eight days, twenty, or whatever. Okay, so in eight days, what's going to happen? What's the next step? Uh, we we put in the press. Put in the press for twenty four hours. So they put a little bit, not too heavy. Okay. And after twenty four hours, you, you move it. But sometimes they are a little less small. Okay. Or less, so the paints are the weight. Okay. It will let us stay another. And that's what gives it that classic dog bone. Yeah, that's it. Okay. And is that what the, the, the blocks yeah, are Yeah, for? the block is this. Oh. Amazing. Okay, so those are your weights, and, and yeah. that's brilliant. That's, that's, uh, that's Yeah, we from there, sign up, we hang them up. When it's ready, we eat. <laughs> and, and they take, uh, they'll be ready by Easter time, like around April? Yeah, April around there. Okay. Yeah, around there. A couple of months, give it to Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, I can't wait to come back and eat it. This sounds yeah, great. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Everyone already obsessed with it now. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Thank you so much for, for this. This was a lot of fun. I know everybody uh, that, that watches our, our YouTube channel is going to love learning about how to make Super Sata. Uh, and this, is, this has been absolutely incredible. Thank you. Nice. Very, very Salud. 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 Okay, so we are back after eight days in Carmela's Cantina, okay? Those of you who do not know, a cantina is a special room in just about every Italian Canadian's household. It's a room in the basement, and it's usually underneath the veranda or a front porch. And what's special about it is it's uninsulated, and that there is direct access to basically air from the outside. How do you, because over the, over the last eight days, the temperature has changed 30 degrees. It's been from zero to minus yeah, 30. It was too cold. Yeah, so, so how did you warm it up in here? Because it got too cold. I opened the, the door a little bit. You opened the door a little bit? Day and night, let us say, for three days. Perfect. Like this. And I cover something for some cloth. And this is just things that you know, right? Like, like you know, you know, you know, when it's too cold. Okay. We put something, we have to open the door because, you know, they dry so fast that the it's it's not so going to come go there on. Or could it freeze? I guess it could freeze in here too. Or not really? No, no. Okay. Freeze is it's, it's impossible. Okay. That's what I know for so many years, no. Okay. But they change, they change sometimes, you know. Okay, so we, we, hold, we, we regulate the temperature in these rooms basically by just using the door that's here. Uh, and that, that will help bring warmer air in well, from the house. That's why. That's okay. why we open the door. We come a little bit. Now, I also, I also heard that you come in here and you talk to them every yeah, day. Yeah, every morning. I try to talk, hi, hello, how are you? This is good, this is not good, this you have to hear, you have to talk. And what, like, did you name them? No, 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 no. Yeah. Just say, like, it was, it was my idea to do that. Well, that's place. fantastic. <laughs> I, I love it. I, I, like, you have to, like, when you eat it, you know you had conversations with whatever you're eating. Well, then you do, you do with love, then I think. This, this is one of the... You gotta add love to it. I, I, yes. So now you can do this thing. And I firmly believe... I, I talk to my food when I'm, when I'm cooking yeah, it. Yeah, that's it. Great, okay, awesome. And so that's okay at home. Talk to your food, it's good. It's good, yeah. Okay, so eight days later, uh, we're, we're back, okay. and we're here to put weight on the super Weight on the super sun, see. So how do we know that they're ready to put weights on? No, that's supposed to be already. After the day, that's what it's that, we, That's just how it is? After the day, you put okay. in the stove, you put okay. the weight, and let it stay for 24 hours. 24 hours with weight on it. Okay, so let's get, I guess we're going to get this process started. So then those ones get hung back up, and, back. and these ones go into the way. Yes. Okay. And perfect. when it's Easter time, it's ready to eat. Easter time, <laughs> we'll be right back here. We'll open some of that wine. The wine and we'll... thing is here. Perfect. That's, that's it. All right. Well, we'll see you soon. Thank <laughs> you very much for having thank us again today. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. -bye.